my stream is telling me that Gar is dead for sure, but I don't believe them. I think he fell to the ground and just, he's exhausted because the gin jerky came out of him. Yeah, he's gonna be dead asleep, but not dead dead. So let's get into this episode. I mean, they're about to bust into this little Akatsuki cave area that they're in. They're about to get through. It's hopefully not gonna be challenging to get in there because they do need to get, they do need to get Gara and Naruto needs to see him and like they need to have that closure. It would be the worst if they actually didn't retrieve Gara after all of this. That would be depressing, but I think they're gonna get in and Lady Chio is gonna bust a move and she's gonna do something crazy. I think Lady Chio is gonna be crazy in this episode. Like she's gonna go bonkers. Like she's gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna die anyway soon. So I need to like fight to death. Cause that's like a purpose for her. I don't know. That's just my theory. If you want to watch Naruto early and uncuts on my Patreon too, I'm like 30 episodes ahead on there. So check it out. All right, let's watch some Naruto Shippuden. All right, <laughs> what's gonna happen? How are they gonna get in? I have no idea. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so now she can look inside. That's kind of epic. That makes sense that he could look inside. That's dope. He can peer through. What the heck? Oh. He can see it pretty well though. He can see the people even on the fingers. Dang, Neji. That's impressive. Can he see him on the ground? <gasps> That's him. Right? Yes. Oh, this is kind of, this is epic seeing Neji's point of view with his eyes. Whoa, yes. Naruto's so impatient. Oh, how would you even describe this to Naruto? Like there's nine eyeballs and two hands that are giant with people standing on the fingertips. Like, how do you even describe what this is? Naruto, chill. Exactly, it's a little hard to explain. <laughs> okay. Going for it. Yeah, that did nothing. Of course there's a barrier. What do you think? I'm just gonna leave it unblocked? Hey, come on in. No. No chance. They can tell that they're outside. This is so upsetting. Which group? Both. Both groups. Oh, that voice. Yeah, they're gonna come and they're gonna save Gar and they're gonna get his body. They're gonna take him back to the Sand Village. Oh, no. The fact that he can tell there's a Jin Cherokee outside. Don't take it personally. So Itachi wants a gin jerky for himself. I'm assuming they all do. I'm assuming all nine of them want one. And he wants the nine tail specifically. Like Itachi wants the fox. Cause if they have the gin jerky themselves, they can rule the whole world. That's the power that they hold. They can rule. They're supposed to be world powers. All nine. Okay, so you gotta figure out these tags. I was gonna say, I noticed that. I didn't know if it was like a paper bomb. Yeah, they're gonna have to remove them. Exactly. Neji, use those eyes. Wow, he can see far. That far away? 500 meters northeast. They gotta get all of them. So they gotta get the tags and destroy them, right? That's great. He's got wireless radios. Great. 
That'd be handy, man. Just to carry those around if you're a ninja. Sounds good. Okay. Man. Yeah, you're about to acknowledge their brute strength. Just wait. You haven't seen anything yet. Why is he the only one that's there? Him and Daedra. The others aren't there, but they're there. I guess they, some of them have to be there physically to hold it down. But take the... So they're talking about Naruto right here. The order is to take the Jinchuriki alive, Naruto. I wonder how they can just tell who has a gin turkey inside of them. They just know. They can sense it. I mean, they know Naruto. I don't know if they know the others. Gara. They know the seven others. Huh. What's it like? It's cute. Ferocious. I'm kidding. The nine tail fox is not. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's do definitely referring to Naruto. Because he's the one who will yell at you and scream at you, yeah. He's feisty! That's all he's saying? Itachi, why is he withholding? That was weird that he just didn't give them any more information. He's just like, he'll yell and scream at you, that's it. You okay with that? Wasn't he your target? He's backing off the fight, I think. He's backing away. He's not getting involved for some reason. Hmm. He has every choice to be there. He could be there, but he's leaving the fight. Maybe Itachi just, he's just realizing it's not time to take Naruto yet. Who knows? <laughs> Stop! How annoying would that be, guys? It's just like, can you hear me? I don't think I've ever seen them wear headbands quite like that. Guy wearing a headband like that? What were those noises? <laughs> His hair looks like a really sharp bowl cut right now. Neji, you good? Neji? Why isn't he speaking? Why wouldn't he just say the words, put your hand here? What is wrong with him? <laughs> this very guy sensei. And she's like, I am not about this. What cool enthusiasm. And the others just get to dip out. What is up with that? Why do they get to go? Do they never show up in the same place at once as part of their... Gara's body. Oh. I wonder if they can get the Shukaku back inside of Gara. Like, can they extract it back? I don't know. They obviously have it locked up in that rock, boulder looking thing with the eyes. Okay, Sakura, it's all on you! Mm-hmm. Let's go, girl. She's strong, okay? They're too late. I don't think he's dead, though. I think he's still there. <sighs> They're just waiting. You excited to see your grandma? What a reunion. I wonder how long it's been, like 20 years? What an awful way to see each other again when you're gonna fight to the death. I don't know really though if they're gonna fight to the death of these 
two will just leave the situation if it gets rough. Like, I don't know if the Akatsuki fight like that. They kind of seem like they bounce when things are not going their way. Like, I feel like every time I've seen Itachi, he's... Okay, every time I've seen Itachi show up to do a fight, for example, when he showed up to Leaf Village to fight and Kakashi and Guy came and he was with Kasami, they, they dipped out again. Like, he tortured Kakashi, put him in the nightmare realm, and then dipped. Every time I've seen Itachi show up, he kind of comes in... He's like, yeah, now I'm better than this, or I'm not in the mood for this, and he dips out. He's not one to be like, fight to the death in every situation. When a situation isn't going the way he wants, or he's bored, or he has something else to do, he just dips. Yoshi. Maybe they're just very like, mathematical in how they do things, or they're very calculated. That's what it is, they're very calculated. They don't do things before their time. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Naruto's like, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> so that's my girl. Oh, here we go. It's not even close to being over. They got something planned. That when the tags are removed. Some kind of creature comes up out of the ground. Obviously, it couldn't be that easy. They gotta fight or something. They gotta do another thing to get there, to get inside. Although, they are inside, so never mind. There we go. Huh. I hate that he just said that. <laughs> This is so stressful. So sorry. I hope she fights Sasori personally. Oh! Oh! He sees Gara. That's gonna kill Naruto that they made it too late. Oh! He's sitting on him. You jerk! He's sitting on his body like it's a footstool. Uh oh, he's he's changing his eyes, his teeth. Oh, that's the one. That's the one who screamed and yelled at you. You know. That's all Itachi had to say. Oh, he's sitting on him. That makes me so mad. That's so rude. It's disgusting behavior. Yeah, okay, now I'm starting to think movie Gara is for, for real dead. Oh, that makes me so mad. You just know when Naruto saw that, his heart just sunk. I love how his teeth just like pop out when he's ready to go, guys. He's like, oh no, you didn't. So rude. Imagine just seeing someone you love, knowing they're dead, and then just seeing the killer sitting on them with a smile on their face. Just nonchalantly effortlessly sitting there like, mm, that's aggravating.